Let's talk about treasure in Valheim. And I'm not just talking about basic coins like this. I don't want to just talk about something that's extremely simple that you just get by gathering a lot of sources. Just, okay, you can make something called a treasure chest, but it's just kind of aesthetic. They're very nice, you know. Sure, you can use these and other valuables to make coins at the merchant and trade them in for really valuable things, and that's very nice. But I want to talk about the real intense valuables that you get from treasure chests. See, you can get these coins from a ton of different sources. A ton of different sources. But... From treasure chests, I know what I really love to get. And early on, that's feathers. Yes, feathers. These things are just extremely valuable. They're relatively rare to get outside of chests and, you know, you have to rely on bird RNG otherwise. So, because of how good the things that you craft with them are, let's say your good old carapace bolts, we look at Eider Weave Robe, especially Feather Cape, but particularly Huntsman Bow, Frost Arrows. Whew. Brutal. Brutally good. Incredibly strong. Of course, Dragon Bed. So we have incredible, incredible items for progression and good aesthetic things around the base in the Dragon Bed. Love that. Also gives you benefit, but it looks amazing. And it's somewhat rare. Comes in chests. Huge excitement, especially when you get 10 in a burial chamber chest. That is an amazing time. Love that. Feels great. But then we get to farm them with chickens and hens. I think the value is the same, but the rarity is dropped way low. But let me know if you'd still consider these uh, much of a treasure like they were in the early game. It's still amazing. The quality of the item is still incredible, as are the quality of some of these items. And, you know, uh, one day wooden missiles will be relevant, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, that's... Let me know what you think about that. Uh, I definitely know that what's still really, really considered a uh, valuable treasure item is chain. Love chain. Especially in the swamp age, you get them from treasure chests. You get them from sunken crypt chests. You get them from raids. And raids are special nighttime spawns or really rare daytime spawns around a... Uh, Swamp building, usually by the coastline, which makes them an extra interesting threat uh, if you run into one with a carve. <laughs> if you got bad wind early on, that's an, that's an encounter. Yeah, I love raids, uh, and I especially love them for their chain, which is used in a whole bunch of good stuff. Swamp tier, plains tier, good for progression, really good for your black metal shield, especially, especially good. With uh, Iron Cooking Station, your Forge Bellows for progression and cooking. And then aesthetics-wise, these Dverger Lantern uh, build pieces. Phenomenal. I just love the Dverger Lantern. Mm, beautiful. So, would you consider Chain to be more treasure-like than even the traditional valuables? I think I would. And personally, I would like a lot more uh, Chain-like uh, items, you know. Would you like to be able to craft chain? Do you want a chain recipe? I know it's really nice to find those hooks in the uh, mistlands. Get the free chain from those when you destroy them. That's really cool. Do you want them as renewable as feathers are now? Maybe in the future. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it would still cost material. Most likely metal. We'll have to see. Of course, speaking of metal, sunken crypts, chests, scrap iron. Wow, it is, it is just an amazing feeling 
to open up a chest in your sunken crypt and see the magic number 20 scrap iron. That is a phenomenal feeling that I will never forget. My god, of course, considering how absolutely useful iron is, this makes for an amazing, amazing chest item. And this is just a beautiful piece of treasure. I don't think anybody can deny it with how useful iron is that seeing uh, huge quantities of iron in your chests, love it. Let me know if you guys would uh, like to have certain other types of scrap appear in uh, future treasure chests. I know that the, uh, the, the Mistlands chests were somewhat underwhelming. You know, I feel like uh, some of the items aren't too bad, but uh, maybe you could have uh, even more Dvergur Lanterns. My next item, Dvergur Lanterns, really cool. I really love Dvergur Lanterns, of course. Talked earlier with the chain about the Dvergur Lantern build pieces. I think just the convenience of this. Who even needs a Dvergur circlet anymore, right? You have your Wisp Light. You have your Dvergur Lantern. It's gorgeous. I love the combined look of it with uh, Mistwalker, uh, Frostner, even like Porcupine. If you really want to style on golems like I do sometimes. Uh, any sort of glowing one-handed weapon. Dvergur Lantern is going to look amazing with... And of course, Dvergur Lantern, you can get for free in certain uh, areas in the Mistlands where there are Dvergur homes. Of course, they have quite a bit of them sometimes, which you can just pick up. And it is just an amazing item to just have as a reward from these places. Definitely feels like a legit treasure. I uh, feel like maybe some of these could be found in the... Uh, the hidden doors sections of the infested mines. I think that would be great. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these Dvergur lanterns. Maybe if their uh, if their illumination should be increased. Uh, personally, I think they're okay. Because they're amazing aesthetic. I would love to have them be able to be fixed upon uh, ships, longship, and then changed up. I still want Haldor's version of his Dvergur lantern. Looks like it uses uh, Desquito eyes. Maybe it's a mix between the uh, Wisp Light and the traditional Dvergur Lantern, and that's why it's the color that it is. And maybe that's how Haldur got out of the Mistlands, because he has a Wisp Lantern. And maybe we should have access to a little Wisp Lantern. Hmm? Hmm. Maybe for a price, but a price I'm willing to pay. Because that is a beautiful and effective item that I would love to use. And... I would consider the Berger Lanterns even more such a treasure, if that were the case. Going onward, the stuff that is really good in the Dvergur chests, really, really useful, that people sleep on a lot, is Hasty Mead. Now, I don't consider the minor healings, minor staminas, uh, I don't consider the Poison Res terribly useful. I know the Poison Res is very good in the Queen fight. Very cool. The minor healing, minor staminas? When are we going to use these, right? Maybe if you're going triple light or on a mage, you pop a minor stamina. Uh, maybe. But really, like, why wouldn't you pop, like, a, a lingering stam? Right? Because lingering stam, you get into these situations where you need to pop potions. You get into these emergencies way less. Because, of course, your stamina is, a f is fueling your daring escapes where you recharge Eider. Of course, you jump off a little ledge, Feather Cape glide on away, and all of a sudden your Eider is coming back. That takes stamina on the jump and the run. Of course, dominating enemies in melee, swapping over to him in Awful, that takes stamina. Recharging stamina, having that stamina in advance to get into these positions where you are safe, means that you have less incentive to pop your stamina needs, especially minor staminas. However, considering how good lingering stamina is, tasty mead stacks on top of that. So if you do need this little bit of emergency stam, the tasty mead is there. And because it has effectively no cooldown as the cooldown ends when the effect ends, you can keep popping these things, which means they are very, very valuable. And when you find them in the Dvergur homes with the horizontal barrels or even in that little uh, uh, wood uh, section underneath the uh, the queen 
area right outside the the infested citadel uh oh man tasty meads are really good little rewards like oh oh i get a little i get a little extra thing oh oh that's nice so maybe there should be less minor healings less minor stamina more tasty mead maybe it stacks up to three to make up for it i think that this would be way more of a rewarding experience and Tasty Mead would really feel like even more of a treasure than it does to me at the moment. Let me know what you guys think about that, uh, or about future potions, future metals, and such. Uh, I think that uh, there's amazing potential with uh, treasure in uh, the chest tables, the loot tables, for uh, a lot of different future dungeons and things. I'm excited for the Ashlands. I'm excited for the uh, Hilder's Quest update that's coming before then. That might have some treasure to be had. Hmm. We'll have to see. Uh, and yeah, I think uh, tre treasure chests that they've gotten right. Um, burial chambers with the feathers and all the coins, like I said. And then a sunken crypts, chains, scrap iron. So good. Uh, there's a, been a lot of potential. Uh, I can't believe they haven't uh, included some of the more valuable items from future biomes or even like past biomes going forward into dungeons. And I think the infested mine uh, chests kind of underwhelming and mainly the black cores and seal breakers that it rewards in that, uh, in those places. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, my topic for today. Uh, hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys some other time. Bye.